I'm Lauren Stanley, a first year student studying public health at Elon University, and the research I did was on substance use at private universities in the United States. Over 4 million students nationwide are affected by binge drinking and drug abuse. Students will never stop drinking alcohol and doing drugs, so instead of punishing students using the criminal justice system and getting police involved, private universities should be focusing on keeping students safe. I researched different possible solutions to increase the safety on campus regarding substance use and found three solutions that would be the most beneficial. The first solution I found was drug identification testing kits. Students can use these kits to ensure that the drugs they're taking are actually the ones they're expecting to take. Most private universities don't want to be viewed as accepting mm-hmm. students' drug use, so these kits will be best distributed by the students themselves. If a university offers and funds a student-led drug-free organization, the students in the club would be able to purchase and distribute the kits. The organization should spread awareness via either social media or campaigning. It may also be helpful to have a table set up for them in the university, student center, or common spaces where students passing by can easily pick up one of the kits. Having the kits easily accessible to students will encourage their use. Another solution is to require all students to take classes every day of the week. At many private colleges, students go out and use drugs and alcohol during the week as well as weekends. Because of this, many students specifically alter their schedules so that they can begin their weekends early and not take classes on Fridays. By giving students five days of classes, this behavior will become lessened. This can be easily implemented by not letting students register for classes unless there is at least one course selected for each weekday. To test whether the strategy is successful, Universities can require all sophomore students to take an anonymous survey before registering for classes to find data on how often they use drugs or alcohol and what days of the week they have classes. They can then require those students to take classes five days per week for the next semester. At the end of that semester, the university can require the surveyed students to take that same survey at the end of the semester with classes five days a week. If the numbers have decreased, this solution will have proved to be successful and should be put into place for all students. Another valuable solution is to provide students with an education that provides evidence-based information about safe drinking habits and the negative consequences that result. Not all of college students consume alcohol and less than two-thirds of students actually do. The fact that not all students do use drugs and alcohol is something that programs like Alcohol EDU stress. Whether a student is an abstainer, moderate drinker, heavy drinker, all students will receive relevant and important information. Private universities can require all students under 21 to complete this course and receive an adequate score before students are eligible to select housing. By repeating this course every year that a student lives on campus, they will have a refreshed education on the topic and make better decisions. Because half of college campuses require alcohol education or training at least once per year, the adoption of the program to private universities is not a difficult change. In the future, the number of schools that require students to take these programs will grow. This education will most likely not prevent students from drinking, but will encourage them to do so safely, which will fulfill the goal of keeping college students safe. Some people believe that because students are abusing substances illegally, schools should have strict punishments and police should always be involved. The problem with this path of action is that the majority of private schools nationwide are most concerned with the safety of their students. The National Center on Addiction and Substance Abuse discourages students from using chemical testing kits, claiming that they do not provide safety, they provide a feeling of safety. This stance may be too harsh for private universities, though, since use from college campuses. In a few years, we will hopefully no longer be hearing about so many alcohol or drug-related deaths and injuries. This is only possible if private universities take on the issue of substance abuse more seriously and provide students with a safer space and services to protect them. Through drug kits, education, and mandatory classes every weekday, this advanced level of safety can be reached. All students are different, and no one solution will work for every campus. However, change is needed, and implementing these solutions will be a start.